a very good morning to all of you i hope you all will be fine today i am going to discuss with you an exercise related to simple present tense yesterday i have discussed with you simple present tense and i have told you that the simple present is used for our daily routine for our day to day activities and for the things which are for the phenomena which are uh, which are true like the sun rises in the east it is a true statement you can't change it so simple present tense is used for day to day activities for our habits and for the statements which are true which you can't change so today i will discuss an exercise with you exercise a it will help you to understand the con- this simple present tense more effectively one more thing which i have told you we use first form of the verb in the simple present tense and if the subject is singular we add s or es with the verb and if the subject is plural we we'll simply write first form of the verb however this rule does not apply on i and you means i and you even if even though they are singular subject but we never add s or es with the verb now let us solve exercise a <coughs> first is i dash up in up at 6 in the morning i get up next is the pn dash the bell now pn is singular so we will use the pn rings the bell next is my father dash to temple every day my father it is a singular subject so we will use goes my father goes to temple every day next is the moon dash at night the moon moon is singular so we will write the moon shines at night next is mohit dash the good expressions here mohit is singular so we will use his sites next is dash you take tea you is a singular subject but we never add s or es with it so we will write here do do you take tea i hope this exercise will help you to understand the concept of simple present tense more effectively Thank you and have a nice day.